All right, is O3 AGI? This is what everyone's been talking about for the last few days. On the 12th day of 12 days of OpenAI, OpenAI released their newest model. They didn't release, they announced their newest model, O3. And O3 is the next generation. It's not available for people to use yet, but they claim it's a huge jump forward. And they showed the benchmarks. We'll look at the benchmarks in a second. But basically, the benchmarks show a huge improvement on O1. So it's another reasoning model. It does way better than O1. But what is AGI? So AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. And this is the next major milestone. This is what everyone's building for. And the truth of the matter is everybody defines AGI differently. So it's going to be very hard to really know when we reach AGI. The way I see AGI is very simple. The ability for AI to perform any task just as well, if not better than a human being. So we're talking about not just general tasks like writing and coding and math, but any task. So this also expands to robotics. Now let's just look at the definition of AGI. Okay, according to ChatGPT Owen Pro Mode, artificial general intelligence is a type of hypothetical intelligence system that can understand, learn, and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks, much like a human being can. Unlike narrow AI, which is designed for specific tasks, such as image recognition or language translation, AGI would be capable of reasoning, problem solving, and learning in a general, flexible way. The main goal in AGI research is to create machines that possess a universal intelligence, enabling them to adapt to diverse problems without needing tailored instructions for new situations. Now let's just look at Perplexity's definition of AGI. Very similar. AGI is a hypothetical form of artificial intelligence that would possess human-like cognitive abilities across a wide range of tasks. Unlike current AI systems that are designed for specific tasks, AGI would match or surpass human capabilities in understanding, learning, and problem solving. It would be able to find solutions to unfamiliar tasks without being specifically programmed for them, trained for them. Self-learning. An AGI system would have the ability to self-teach and adapt to new environments similar to human learning processes. It would demonstrate autonomous self-control and a reasonable degree of self-understanding. As of now, AGI remains entirely theoretical and does not exist in practice. While significant advances have been made in narrow AI applications, true AGI can match human-level cognition across all domains remains in the realm of research and development. So there's this test called the ARC Prize. And the ARC Prize is a test that every AI model has looked at and has failed. It's basically the ability to notice a pattern, learn what the pattern is, and then apply that to figure out the next step of the pattern. And this test hasn't been beaten by AI yet. And the people that run this test, Arc Prize, are offering $1 million for the first company to reach AGI or to beat the test. So let's look at it really quickly. So here's the first example. So you get this matrix, you get these boxes, and you see there's these three and these three. And then you see the next version. As you see here, the next version, the right answer is they filled in where it was empty. So the next example would be, again, the same thing, figuring out where to fill it in. So the ARC test is basically giving this test that's easy for humans to do and giving it to AI. And it's actually not as easy as you would think for the AI. Just to look at how ARC defines AGI, consensus but wrong. AGI is a system that can automate the majority of economically valuable work. They claim that the correct definition is AGI is a system that can efficiently acquire new skills and solve open-ended problems. So it's clear that AGI is very hard to define because everyone has a bit of a different definition of it. But at least the ARC prize gives a benchmark, it gives a test to see what current AI models are not able to do. So being able to accomplish this ARC test is still a huge feat, but doesn't mean AGI. Well, in the terms of ARC AGI, it might mean AGI, but does it actually mean AGI? We don't know. And here's the thing, everywhere on, on YouTube, on Twitter, since O3 has been announced, has said OpenAI has achieved AGI, but one, they didn't claim it. And yes, there's a caveat. If they claim AGI, there's a stipulation in their deal with Microsoft, who are their investors, that they will stop getting access to OpenAI's models, and this could be a whole monetary problem for OpenAI. So there's a reason to say they didn't reach AGI yet, or at least not claim they hit AGI. But everyone else is saying they achieved AGI. Now, my biggest problem when new models are released, every time a new model is released, the benchmarks are released. And who creates the benchmarks? For the most part, the company releasing the models. And this is great. And they show the difference, the delta between the previous models and the new models, or the delta between their models and the competitors' models. The bottom line is benchmarks are great, but the companies are making the benchmarks themselves. There's been so many examples of companies training their models on benchmarks questions so the models can pass the benchmarks. And while I'm not saying this is the case for O3, because O3 does look great from what we saw. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. Very few people have actually seen it. So to claim they've reached AGI kind of feels like clickbait. I need to see it with my, with my own eyes. I need to play with it. And to be honest, it's not that I would know if a model reached AGI, but it's so sensationalized, this whole concept. And it's saying all these things without even seeing it, just based on an announcement 
and some benchmarks that the company released. So just to look at O3 has improved in coding significantly over O1. It's improved in math. But what about everything else? There are many other aspects that AI has to get good at for, in my opinion, to be considered AGI. It could be very good, narrow intelligence that can pass the specific tests like math and reasoning and coding. But is that AGI or is it just getting better at those specific things? I don't know. I feel like it's kind of jumping the gun to claim AGI, AGI, AGI without seeing it. And I'm not poo-pooing at all OpenAI's announcement and their great feats. This is really cool. I'm just saying have we really reached AGI yet? Are we looking for new headlines? Over the last few months, we've seen so many announcements and promises that kind of underdelivered. We've also seen some great improvements. So all I'm saying is let's wait, let's see, let's test it out before we start saying AGI. And the truth of the matter is we're never going to agree what AGI is. I mean, eventually we will, but until it's actually in our daily lives, I don't think we will. So that's my opinion on O3 announcement. Let me know what you think. You may disagree with me. If so, let me know. Share it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.